The Russian Grand Prix podium is being dismantled, where just an hour ago the top three drivers from the 2015 uh, Sochi Grand Prix stood uh, and celebrated. We had expected it to be a slightly boring humdrum affair. Uh, one pit stop was all that uh, we thought would happen during the race, and um, on the basis of last year, not much excitement. However, Nico Hülkenberg spun on lap one, brought out the safety car. And then a big impact for Roman Grosjean halfway through the race brought out a second safety car. And that played around with strategy. Drivers who'd opted to pit early during that uh, second safety car period, ultimately running tyres, which those who then stayed out were on far fresher tyres. It played out beautifully. Lewis Hamilton never troubled for the win. Sebastian Vettel drove a blinder to come home second. And in an amazing last three or four laps, Sergio Perez, who had held on on old tyres, was finally passed by Valtteri Bottas and then by Kimi Raikkonen, who then took each other out, and so Perez got that third place. It was a really good race in the end, really enjoyable. Here are your top three. Lewis, um, did, was there any fear that what happened to Nico with his throttle pedal would, would happen to you as well, with the team monitoring that at all during the race? Uh, I wasn't told about it, so I didn't know... Um, if they're monitoring, I'm sure they were monitoring everything. Um, I, I had potentially some problem with my rear wing, so that was my concern, um, that I was just trying to you know, bring the car home. 42 wins now. I've seen you win 43 races, but officially 42. Um, to win the title in Austin, at, at a track you love, and in a country that loves you, what would that mean to you? I don't know if it's a country that loves me, but... Ah, believe me, they do, they do. They, well, I spend a lot of time there. I enjoy it there. Um, to be honest, I, I'm really not thinking like that. You know, I, I don't allow myself to, to get carried away and, and, and let those thoughts get into your mind. What if um, my, my thought process is, you know, I'm going to arrive there, make sure I do my due diligence, make sure I do my work with my engineers, and we're going to attack it just as we've done every race. And whatever will happen, will happen. Um, I'm, going, I'm gunning for the World Championship, as you know. So that's... Whether it's the next one, whether it's the one after, as long as when I finish the line, uh, I come across the line in, in Abu Dhabi and I've won it, that's, that's my goal. So that's my target. Phenomenal drive uh, today. Congratulations. And you're now second in the Drivers' Championship. What, what, what means more, the, uh, the result today or, or moving ahead of Rosberg, who has been in one of the most dominant cars of, of this generation? <laughs> um, well, I don't, I don't know. And I don't... Uh, think about it too much. Uh, I think it was a great race, so maybe that's what we take. Uh, it was a difficult weekend with very little preparation, but um, we were able to set up the car uh, very well straight away and uh, didn't touch it much. Obviously, we didn't have time, <laughs> but uh, it was uh, you know, going in the right direction. When the circuit picked up, uh, the car just kept, uh, kept getting better uh, and came alive, so uh, really happy in the race uh, with the car that I had and uh, obviously uh, we were able to chase down the Williams, uh, which was the most important, and uh, benefited from uh, Rosberg's uh, yeah, DNF. Um, so uh, obviously he was not very lucky today, but uh, yeah, the most important looking after ourselves is that we were there. With just four races left to go this season, how hopeful are you of continuing this incredible trend over the last few races? Um, well, I think we're doing the right things. Uh, I think Sunday, come Sunday, we are closer to Mercedes than on Saturday. So there's things that we need to, yeah, need to do better on Saturdays. Uh, and then Sundays, uh, we are not yet there. Uh, but if you look at the whole season, I think uh, things are progressing and going in the, in the right direction. Uh, hopefully uh, for over winter we can make a big step and then uh, we'll see where we are next year. You moved to Ferrari at the start of this year. Could you have thought that with four races to go you'd be sitting second in the championship with so many wins under your belt and this incredible momentum behind the team? Um, well, I didn't have... It's difficult to make real... Ex uh, you know, to have, to, to have real expectations. Um, you know, the time when I, when I joined, obviously, people were up for... A new start. Uh, there was a lot of change, uh, including one driver, uh, a lot of new people, a lot of uh, people moving position. So um, yeah, I think we we set out and said that give us time. I think we've exceeded all the expectations so far, um, which is good. Uh, so the momentum obviously is important uh, to make progress. Uh, so all in all, we are on the on the you know on a on a on a good way with the with the team. Um, also with the car, there's things that we know uh, we can and have to improve. So, um, yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite happy. Checo. 
Yes. Congratulations. Um, someone was smiling down on you today, weren't they, at the end there? Uh, a great result. Talk us through what it means to you, what it means to the team to get this podium today. It means a lot, you know. It's such a great team. Uh, when you do a great race, you, uh, you finish P7, P8, and, and that's an amazing, an amazing race, you know. People don't realize too much what's behind the scenes and, and to show it, to, to really show today what, what we've done, what we've achieved with the budget that we had, it's just amazing. We have great individuals in the team, so I'm very proud for them because they did a tremendous job. And I'm just enjoying massively my time uh, with this team and I see more, more potential coming up, you know, because uh, I see we're doing progress. We have to still do progress for the last four races because we have a big year ahead of us uh, for the next one. So we, we just have to, to keep doing a lot of progress. You told me at the start of the year, two years ago, you thought your career was over. And you came to Force India almost thinking that, you know, whatever. You know, I'll go and I'll drive. I'm not really fussed. How do you feel standing here now, given the success you've had with the team, given how much you've grown, developed, matured within this team and racing better than ever? Yeah, I'm uh, at my best moment of my career. I'm very thankful to, to Force India, first of all, to giving me the opportunity. And I will always be grateful to this team because uh, without them, I wouldn't be here. You know, as, as I said before, I was not interested to stay in Formula One just to be here with any other, with any team. I stay with Force India because I saw potential here. I saw a very hungry team, just like me, and they gave me the opportunity to prove myself back. So all I will say is, please don't judge me because of my time at McLaren. Um, judge me because of my past and and, and my my years at Force India. Now we go to Austin with a big Mexican fan base. We go to Mexico straight afterwards. They're going to be nuts for you now, aren't they? They will be great. I, I just love my country. I, I love my fans and I just can't wait to, to get there. You know, it's, uh, I think the whole Formula One, you've been there. Uh, so it's just going to be amazing. And I cannot wait there. I think I, I'm arriving in my best momentum of my career driving wise. So I look forward to give them a great results there. So that was your top three. If you're wondering what I was talking about with Lewis having 43 wins, a lot of people, Lewis included, still uh, count the 2008 Belgian Grand Prix as a Lewis Hamilton victory. But there you go. Um, so equal third on 42 wins uh, in the all-time win list for Lewis. Um, great second place for Sebastian Vettel, which moves him into second place in the Drivers' Championship ahead of Nico Rosberg. And in third place was Sergio Perez. Um, the Sahara Force India pit wall clearly going crazy at the end of the race there, um, as is very evidenced by the voice or lack of voice uh, from the team COO Otmar Safnauer. Uh, we caught up with him just after the race. Uh, Otmar, I don't want to take up too much of your time because we've got this photo about to happen for the team. What does this result mean for a team like Force India? Well, it's great going into the United States and Mexico back to back uh, after a podium finish for, for Sergio. Perfect. It's been coming for a while, hasn't it? Ever since this B-Spec was introduced, the team has looked ever more competitive. Yeah, and you know, the B-Spec was a radical change in aerodynamic philosophy, so it's going to take time to optimize, and we're still learning. Uh, we had a good race here, we've had a good couple of races, and long may it continue. Absolutely. What can you hope for for the remainder of the season off the back of this? Well, I mean, uh, I think the next step is to get a two-car finish with this car. Uh, for the last three races, one or the other drivers had, had an issue, so... Uh, if we get a good two-car solid finish in Austin and Mexico, that'd be great. Enjoy the celebrations. Thank you.